We're going there to check out the GLE 53 AMG. We inspect out this beautiful GT63 four-door coupe. We're headed right now to the AMG Performance Center in Prabha Devi Auto Hangar. We're going there to check out the GLE 53 AMG. It's just got launched in India. They just had the official media launch of it. It's not available for a test drive yet, but we are going to get a chance to do a walk around and check it out from the inside as well. I don't know if you know, but this is the predecessor for the 43 and the 450 and the previous 63. Now they have the 53 and the 63, but in India, I think we're only still getting the 53. All right, so the GLE 450 AMG and the GLE 43 AMG Coupe are the same thing. It was known as the 450 before, and then they rebadged it as the 43. The AMG fanboys don't really consider it a real AMG because it's not. It's not hand built in the AMG factories. I, I guess I agree with them. But the new 53 is built at the AMG factory, and it's considered a real AMG. Now Mercedes is trying out their new inline six engines. They have one in the diesel. Remember Royal? We saw yeah. it in the GLS. That's the inline six diesel. They also have the inline six petrol as well. This one is the AMG version, which is also the inline three liter turbo i think it's a single turbo i don't know if it's twin turbo but the previous one was a v6 twin turbo three liter as well and it was making about 367 horsepower the new one the inline six which comes in the gle 53 <laughs> amg a lot of numbers and words makes about 420 and it got this extra believe it or not so it's the first amg hybrid it's got a battery engine which gives it an extra 22 horsepower and about 200 extra nm of torque which is crazy yeah, man, I'm excited to see it. Well, what do you think? Yeah, I'm waiting to see it. It looks cool in pictures. Yeah. It's got those big, massive wheels as well. It looks cool. So, yeah, let's go. <laughs> So we just got here to AMG Performance Center in Prabhadevi. As you can see, they spec'd out this beautiful GT63 four-door coupe. I don't know what this color is called, but it's beautiful in this silver. It's got some upgraded wheels too. I think these are 21s. A little AMG silver stripe going to mask the paint. The best part about this car though, you gotta see the interior. It's, the spec on the interior is just dope. It's got the yellow calipers and also got black with suede in the middle with yellow stitching. How dope is that? Only here at the AMG Performance Center in Pravadevi. Six spec. Damn, it's even got Alcantara on the dash as well. On the steering, obviously. It's got the yellow stitching. Super dope, so dope. I don't want to take the covers off because it's like brand new, but six spec. So I'm going to show you guys this feature only in AMGs. If you pull any of the paddles, and press the start button to start the car. It's called an emotional start. It pumps a little more fuel, adds a little more drama, pops and bangs. So let's hear it, cold start. So we're here now with the GLE 53 AMG. And now with the newer Benz generations, you can tell that it's an AMG right away from the grill that they have. All these AMGs. One thing I noticed that they gave the wheel arches the same color as the body. I don't know if that's an option. But before it was different. It would be like that rough gray color. Also, they still left the 21 inch wheels. Different design this time. They got the Turbo Formatic Plus badge. So this is fitted with the AMG factory performance exhaust. As you can see, it's got the blacked out tips as well. And I wish this part was color matched too. This kind of looks odd, but you can see the diffuser. Well, I like the tail lights on the back. What do you think, Roy? Yeah, so good. this competes with the X6. You can see the badge is so weird, see the 53. One thing I really like what Mercedes is doing, this LCD displays, they give you the front of the car with the headlights and the emblem lit up. Looks pretty cool. Here's the key for it. AMG, as you can see. New key, you don't have to put it in anymore. 
It is push to start. MBUX. Let me see what's touchscreen. Oh, it is touchscreen. Nice. So it is touchscreen. The GT63 four door that we saw wasn't touchscreen. This is touchscreen. And obviously, being an AMG card, has the AMG, you know, the options. We'll start it. We're in the showroom right now, so I don't really want to start the car and kill the people from carbon monoxide. Uh, yeah, we'll start the car. I got a little exhaust clip later. But for now, as you can see, the interior actually is this lot of changes, man. Yeah. I thought it looks kind of similar, but then I realized it's got this old shit hand grab handlebar over here as you can see the lighting when the, when the plastic switches are gone basically. the plastic switches are gone definitely like rich rich quality if you feel like you're in an amg because in the other car it felt like you were like in a normal yeah, old school. mercedes with the amg package and that's what it really is because it wasn't the hand-built mercedes what do you think about the interior lighting doesn't it feel like we're in a like yeah, a, it looks really good it's really prominent and bright. Yeah, it's got the panoramic sunroof. That's pretty cool. It looks, it feels really good in here. Yeah. Like I feel at home. There's not a lot of cars where I feel homey in, you know, G-Wagon, S-Class, and now this. Maybe I'm a Mercedes guy after all. Who knows? Maybe I should get an AMG. What do you guys think? A lot of people have been messaging me and trying to guess what kind of car I'm getting next. And they're trying to, every majority of the people think it's a 204 C63, but I would love to get one, but I'm not in the market for one. And my one of my good friends owns one. So whenever I have the itch to drive one, I can just hit him up. So anyways, back to the GLE Coupe 53. Like I said, the features are really similar to the ones we just saw in the EQC and the GLS and the GT63. So I'm not gonna go into details, but as you can see, like I said, just leather everywhere, leather dash, leather on the sides, leather inside, outside, everywhere. Got carbon everywhere. This does have the sports steering wheel, which I think it is an option because, you know, it has the AMG dials over here, the operations for the AMGs. You know, this aluminum paddle shifters look so good, but this is the optional steering wheel because it has the flat bottom. So the previous car, you know, was a, like I said, the GLE 43, which made about 367 horsepower, 520 NM of torque, the zero to 100 in 5.7 seconds. This one, the 53 is an inline six, still a three liter, still force inducted turbocharged, but it's a single turbo, I think. Makes about 435 horsepower, also 520 NM of torque, and but does zero to 100 in 5.2 seconds. Believe it or not, the EQC is faster than this because that's rated at 5.1 seconds. This thing has something called EQ Boost, which is that hybrid engine I was talking about, Ruel. Mm. It gives you a boost of extra 21 horsepower and 250 nm of torque from that extra battery that they have this has the amg active ride control it's got the air suspension i got the the anti-roll bars were hydraulic before so it didn't really help out with the body roll and the adaptiveness of the suspension wasn't that quick now it's electronic yeah the feeling is probably going to be way different and not as you know raw as the previous models and like the ML63s have it as well. But these newer cars have the electronic ones. It's just quicker adjustments and it's done in milliseconds, you know, where the other one obviously is hydraulic, it's mechanical. So must be taking a longer time to get adapted to your driving situation. And obviously with an electronic system, it weighs less too. So it saves weight over there. Now, I don't know if this is the AMG Dynamic Plus package because I don't see the wheels from the 63. I only see wheels, of, you know, what comes with the 53. But in the Dynamic Plus package, they give you the red calipers, you get the dynamic steering wheel with the amg drive controls now i noticed this doesn't have the race seats or whatever the one piece seats the two piece seats but it's pretty comfy man we could do yeah. like a road trip in here doesn't have massaging seats no it does not have massaging seats it has even cool seats ventilated both the sides look at this a lot of room two cup holders which is needed a lot of cars nowadays don't have it big storage compartment over here glove box which is probably cooled as well you know typical mercedes and burmester surround sound obviously Overall, it feels like a real AMG in short, and unlike the other car, way, way big upgrade compared to the older car in terms of build quality and AMG-ness. Let's see what it sounds like, because I haven't heard one of these inline sixes in person. Well, the petrol var diesel variant we have, you know, the AMG motor we haven't, so. So we went ahead and started it up in uh, comfort mode and I put in race and it was a big difference. Like, listen to it, it just changes the idle completely. That's comfort. Wow, a big difference. All right, you can check it out. It has these cool displays here because it's the AMG obviously. And right now you can see the suspension's all the way up. I'm gonna lower it. Let's see if it goes to minus one. I'm gonna lower it all the way down. Let's see, look at, look, look at that move. That's so cool. Now it's reached that height of minus one. So I think it only did it because I put it in sport. But yeah, it's got these cool displays. The formatic, obviously navigation. I'm telling you, Mercedes is killing it with the interior. How game. can I help? But yeah, as you can see, you know, you got this, 
got the boost kilowatts nma4 mm -hmm. how cool is that you got your traditional amg gauges transmission temp oil temp and tire pressure as well it's pretty cool and you got your main screen over here it's so dope here's the trunk on the mercedes gle 53 coupe here's a space saver spare wheel and uh yeah the trunk's pretty good you know i got a 60 40 split i guess and your tray cover right here pretty cool and then you press the button it's automatic tailgate as well so we're gonna check out the rear leg room this is ruel sitting in the front not bad you know, the camera? Um, look at the headroom not bad right pretty decent yeah okay. probably about six foot two six foot three you'll be facing some issues but other than that pretty cool this is what the interior looks like from the back beautiful beautiful got the beautiful Burmese surround sound as well you got your optional provisions here for putting in a tv a few moments later all right so we just checked out the gle 53 right off the bat you can see the interior on it the build quality is the build quality is dope. The car overall looks so much better than the previous ones. It's still round and huge and unnecessarily huge. A lot a lot of big panels, but it's shaped over time pretty good. You know, it's got the big pan Panamericana grille in the front. And do you know it well? That's how you know it's the AMG now. That's only going to be coming on AMG cars. Oh, cool. And if you see it on any other cars, aftermarket. So that's how you can distinguish, you know, a non-AMG and AMG car now from far away. Great quality. The wheels look good. The car looked good. And the interior was so good. Oh my God. Felt like home, especially with the big panoramic sunroof light coming in it felt really nice uh, yeah and especially the ambient lighting and everything was too good you know i had the mbux upgraded system as well with the big touch screen split screen i think it's priced around 1.4 1.5 we're gonna probably do a test drive over let's wait for that and before man the car is perfect hope you guys enjoyed that oh and by the way the the gt63 spec by them was just phenomenal it's custom silver paint job i don't know what the color is called you know it's got those custom wheels the upgraded optional 21 inch wheels with a silver lip look too good with amg written on it black interior with half suede half napa yellow stitching also on the steering wheel all around the car that car is amazing by the way the price on that is somewhere north of three cr so pretty hefty price tag on that okay, in the comment section below let me know what you guys think about the spec on the gt63 four to six days later welcome back guys good morning and we are here on a friday morning headed to uh, ornament circle to check out the new gle test drive and we're gonna meet up with some of the throttle 97 boys amg performance center mumbai has invited us so yeah right now my voice show is gonna pick us up it is 5 30 d so let's go for once i don't have to drive so i can focus on vlogging right well <laughs> Pulling up in a Beamer to a Benz meetup. Horny man circle. I wonder why they call it horny man. Oh, naked on the camera, okay. Got the GLS over here as well.
Welcome to the vlog, Pratamesh. Welcome. Hubam, Herodian. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Let's, Let's go. go. And we're in the 330i M Sport. What does the M stand for, bro? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. M performance. Yeah, what does it stand for, bro? Probably it's three colors. Oh, I'm wearing M colors. Oh, not yeah. Bad. Not bad. And the French flag. Not bad. Good flex. Good flex. Casual. Casual. What's up? <laughs> Look at the kids up there, like, who the hell is this guy? Alright, Pratamish, we got a violation over here. Yeah, What's the problem? That's, that's kind of We got that. M stripes on a, a Honda. Honda. And we in an M Sport, but we ain't got no stripes. We, ha we have on the Checks side. over stripes. Yeah. That's what I like. Yeah. Even I got some Yeezys on, but still. You got Yeezys? Yeah. Oh shit, Yeezy gang. Easy, easy. Casual. Casual, easy, easy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're in the 330i M Sport versus the 530D. Do a little quick roll race in Mexico. back home now we didn't get to touch our the GLE but we had a pretty fun day we we'll order some pizza and chill probably crack a co few cold brews you know what this is the this is a leg you need it in your life this and ladi pao is over here <laughs> ladi pao yeah. but look what's in the microwave whoa the one size is stomach for me for sure why don't you grab a plate mm. how is it that's from two days ago Tossin! <laughs> Shout out! Anyways, yeah, see you guys at another episode of Horsepower Cartel. I got my hands tied up. All these guys over, especially Brother Mace. Well, goodbye. <laughs>